This is me helping you with everyday life using anime. And the anime that I would like to use today is Full Metal Panic. Panic, at first, I was panicking that I just wasted freaking 35 bucks on some piece of shit fucking high school fucking drivel. Like, blah. It's like some crap. But, I grunted through the first three episodes, and then something amazing happened. There was a fight scene using a mech that I have never seen before in my whole entire life. Some Lambda Driver activated from the Whisper people called Black Technology, and it's forbidden, and it's trapped inside chicks in high school. Evidently, because nobody understands them, and that's the perfect place to hide shit like that, so... I got it. But, a little review is that, um, it's about Sergeant Sosuke Sagara, and he is supposed to guard one of the Whisper people, Kagome. No, wait, that's from Inuyasha. Scratch that. Um, Kikyo. No, that's from... K that's from Inuyasha too. It starts with a K. She has blue hair. The blue haired high school chick. So anyway, Sosuke is supposed to guard her because she is evidently targeted by this crazy psycho military guy that wants to extract the black technology out of her. And the black technology is used to make uh, the Lambda Driver. And the Lambda Driver allows you to, it pretty much makes your emotions come to life. Think of Mega Man type shit, where he, he's, a, he's a robot, but he's alive, kind of, kind of things like that. Um, but anyways, you can use the Lambda Driver to like, if you think about wanting to protect yourself, it'll protect you. And if you think you want to blast somebody all the fucking shits and death, then it'll blast somebody all the fucking shits and death. I give it a, I give it a 9 out of 10. But, anyways, how does this help you with everyday life? Well, it reminds me of Waving and a girl named Pam. Like the cooking spray. I mean, literally, like the cooking spray. She's a redhead. The cooking spray has a red lid. Well, have you ever waved? Not, I'm not talking... Woo! Woo! I mean, just the, just the little 45 degrees. I mean, you could do the whole arm motion. I mean, you could do the parade wave. You could do the bye-bye or the head wave. If you didn't get that, I just didn't have a creak. Well, after the first one, I kind of did. So, like, number two or three in there was kind of, you know, I wasn't waving there either. Look, that's evidently confusing, so moving on. It's come to my knowledge that you can technically classify the world into into two categories. I know, sounds loco in the cabeza, but I mean Hannah Montana is now a movie, so crazy shit is happening everywhere that's unnecessary. But these two categories that you can classify people into are people that you can wave at and people that you can't wave at. I used to work at Target. During my employment at this facility, I um, met a girl named Pam. Now, Pam liked the cooking spray pan. And um, she would make it so things couldn't stick to her. And uh, I tried to hug her one time and she's a slippery. She's I couldn't quite get the full, the full blown hug. It was more of like um, I had things in my hands and I moved them out, and uh, she kind of bumped into my arm, but then she ducked under real quick. But I'm just gonna say that it was a hug. At the time of this meeting, she was preoccupied with some other jackass. I know, I sound vindictive, right? I sound like a piece of shit for calling somebody that just because they're with somebody a jacket well fuck you for judging me all right he used to hit her okay 
I can't be like the two G's, gravity in the ground. I can't guarantee the situation is of that nature. But, however, that's what she told me. And when somebody hot tells you that their boyfriend is hitting them, you believe them. That's the rule. Alright? Even if you don't want to. Even if you feel a little scrawny and weak, like you can't take them on, you man up. I mean, because if he's pussy enough to be slapping around a chick, then you may easily be able to jump him in a lower light setting, sort of a dusk type time of day. You may be able to get a surprise attacking on him, throw him off guard, scream like a girl, so he brings up the, the hand and not a fist, because then he's going to be like, oh no, the bitches are out. And then he's going to try to slap you. You bust out the bat that you had hidden on the location in the bushes and you crack them with it once and then you throw it back in the bush this is crucial you gotta get it back out of sight I, I'm just saying that's what would happen if you happen to engage in some sort of fight situation that's just the rule I didn't make that up somebody else made it up the first time I ever met Pam she felt like a person that I should wave to so I did happen to meet the boyfriend but he had some sort of accident on the way home during a sundown by some bushes. At this time I confronted him with this situation. I did it indirect but it was kind of awkward so it wound up being a sort of whoops type situation. I just said Tay stop hitting the bitch. And then they broke up. And then she quit and then I never saw her again. So you could say that I had a, a hand in maybe ruining her life. Because I don't know if she has a good life right now. So it could be bad and therefore it could be my fault. Remember that before you wave at somebody. I mean because I have a tendency. I driving by and check at the bus stop. You get the wave. There's a reason why she's at the bus stop. So she may be in the other category of people. The people that you don't wave to. But Pam like the cooking spray. I just wanted to say, I'm glad that I waved at you. I'm sure that you're not glad that you waved at me now. This is what I was trying to prove this whole time, is that sometimes it's not good to wave at people, because I bet you all the people that ever waved at me now, they are regretting it. I'm living proof that there are people that you wave at, and there are people that you don't wave at. So, taking a chance. I'm risking it. On you, don't let me down, don't let me down.